No faking in, no fronting, no biting in, no flogging. I'm full stock, I'm a general. Be more suckers, two sergeants. MC that means move the crowd. The A speakers be booming loud. The wolf is blown, so air it out. Bass hit so hard, make a mushroom crack. My flow atomic bomb, evil, quite demonic. Supersonic, bionic. Ha, I'm laughing at these comics. They, 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 they freaking out. Soon as the new beats come out. Connected. Channel switched. User. Fudo. Uh huh. Geed. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. He's not on TV yet, but he's. That's okay. I was just for clout. Definitely going to be a noisy speech night. I love the sound of the gazelle. I do as well. Well, actually, our on the pitch is slightly too low. Um, it's not quite screechy enough. <laughs> Doesn't need any more squeak or screech. Well, I, I, I spent some time this week retuning my one to match the video output from this flying one and. Uh, so mine's just tweets like this, so it's even more screechy. Not a lot, but it's a bit off. It's pitch match to, to the video. User joined your channel. User. Oh, I finally have some sound. Welcome sound. Gentlemen. Huh? That's good. Gentlemen. Dude. How you doing? Dude. Hello. Hello. Joined your channel. Got any sausage? Huh? So what's Sonny got? Gazelle. I got the model, but it's is, I, is that the other one? Yeah, she brought the French one, but we'll get her. Since she made the effort to fly a gazelle, we'll let her off with it. You don't often get standing in anything else except for a Huey or a or an EC one out. It's, you're in the French Gazelle, Sunny, but not no matter, no matter. And someone is in my livery. Who's in my livery? The orange cowings on the Gazelle of flight here. Not me. Not me. I'm the good kid. Which one are you wearing? Uh, uh, is that the army corps? I'm the one with the orange cowling on top. I'm, I'm, uh, ah, that's just there for, that's just there for flight leader, so I can be easily identified. I did, I did put that in the post. Get right up. Right, I'm going to start my videos then, we'll get a briefing done and we are in the air, hopefully in a few minutes. Gene's uh, show has been in the same delivery as you, Stuart. Yes, Gene's going to get his arse kicked. Gene's going to change delivery. Uh, he has, though. Why? 
Because. A change, Slippery. Oh, I like that one. You got three little stripes on your butt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. I did a Slippery. Going live, flight leader. I'm setting up the live broadcast now. So if you're doing broadcast, to record and get it ready and get it started, and we'll be in the air in five minutes. Okay, we are live on Twitch. I'm twitching. Let's start twitching. I'm twitching. I've got music tonight, Stuart. Good. Is it not hurt? Sure, do you want to they will spin be. them up or not yet? Yeah, just give them to spin them up and I'll give you the big ones you're all running. Do it calling the air controllers or what? Yes, I'm on the phone. <laughs> there we are. Uh, Stuart, have you got a uh, military package installed? I have, yes. There's a square box hanging out your back end. Yes, I do have a square box hanging out my back end. Oh, right. Quite great. Right, so let me get my engine started. I also have a big black dot on my rear end. Got a well, aren't you lucky, like, bud? Okay. Fucking four. It's right next to my 39. Well, if you're not spun up, spin up already, I'll start giving these a brief. Uh, and we'll get stuff done. I was waiting for your briefs, man. My briefs are famous. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah we don't know about it. So, tonight, tonight we are recreating the retirement flight of the Westman Gale from Gazelle from the UK service. The uh, Gazelle officially retired on the 31st of October, the last week. And they actually held the retirement flight the week before. We're going to follow pretty much the whole route um, we won't be stopping off at the, say, all the waypoints that they did in the real flight, we'll be flying through. Um, we will stop somewhere around about Manchester for our midway break, and then from then on down to Portsmouth. And we will last landing at the final waypoint, which is a nice, good triangular garden that's going to be able to hold all of us. So, weather-wise, we are using great. To make it easy, uh, weather will be core high pressure. And time just set the time from noon. Any questions? You just heard a uh, flight leader speaking to us. Potato! Shut up. <laughs> flight leader is in the gazelle with the orange cowlings. Um, the rest of the other gazelles are just our other pilots. That's for the benefit of people who are watching the video feeds. On Twitch. Uh, on Twitch and Facebook and more will be uh, 
recording from YouTube. Right, so we will not be flying at any great heights or altitudes, between two and five thousand feet. Uh, the cruise speed is going to be pretty high, we're going to be 140 plus depending on time. Um, when you're flying at such speeds, don't do any sharp maneuvers, because it will die, yeah, you'll and you'll die, die with it. So, so we have a sunny. Right, uh, yeah, I'm ahead of sunny. If you have got the route manager stuff programmed in and active, your navigational needle in your cockpit will point the way to the next waypoint. Yeah, crap, I've done that. You don't need to, it's just there if you need it, if you want it as an extra aid. Or if Stuart hits, bites the big one, somebody will have to take over, but that probably won't happen. Oh, he loves to bite the big one, does Stuart. <laughs> right. Let's get this historical flight in the air. Watch me for takeoff. Are we, are we turning to the right and departing downwind? Like your tail? Yeah, no, it's a headwind. There we go. There That's we are. Daisy, yeah, we excuse. Right, on my way. Departing. He's on his way. Misery to happiness again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, look at me, I'm in the air. Hey, well done. Give yourself a banana. Banana. Oh, oh, oh. The reason I'm doing it in co high pressure is because the south of England, where Alex is. Let's get some rather not so pleasant weather going on at the minute. That's right. Oh, it's crazy. The storm is there. Yeah, it's not stopped raining today. It's... Wait, it stopped raining? Well, that's unusual. Yeah, that's right. Right, so we're up and we're off. Anyone not on the air yet? So I'm still holding the speed back to about 100 knots at the minute. But we will need to put the hammer down fairly so shortly. I think of everybody's silence there in the air and concentrating like fuck. Like yeah, the well, that's it. The toughest helicopter in the whole bunch to fly. It's not. You know, I, I don't think it is. There we are. I've got my altitude pegged in a minute, so... Oh, that was not okay. I thought you like... No, no. I'm just pegging it. Here's your friend, Tiger. Okay. Ooh, rawr. There he is. Actually, you know, I advertise the night's bite to him. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I get noisy gazelles in my ear. Right, slowly increasing the speed up to about 140. Uh, what's the altitude cap, sir? Or is there one? Uh, what, the rest of the altitude cap is just what I'm sitting at. We will, I don't want to go too high, I don't want to go too low. Uh, I want to sort of keep it so we can see the details on the ground and whatnot, or any points. Plus it's less distance for you to fall when you go into death spiral. You don't have to suffer too long. I'd like right. to welcome our Twitch viewer. Hello Twitchy viewer. Hello Twitchy viewer. Twitchy edgy viewer. Alright, so I'm sitting around about 140 knots at the minute. I'll still try and maintain that speed the best possible. Uh, we are en route to our first waypoint. Bring up my route manager and you can see in the video what it is. There's the 38 Squadron HQ-3, can't even pronounce it, Barracks. Can't get my tongue around that. Can you pronounce it, Warwick Bellamy? What are you trying to say? <laughs> first way, the first the first waypoint. I can't get my tongue around the third the barracks. Third, third, third barracks. 
<laughs> Can't say it now. No, that's what I mean. I could say, but I can't say it now. Threffle Barracks. Yeah, Threffle, Threffle Barracks, that's the place. 12 miles Threffle. out. Yeah, 12 miles out. Then we'll be taking a left turn and our next stop, Manchester. Like a, like a Swedish guys. Call it Lisbon. Yeah, Lisbon Barracks. Yeah, well, I was trying to do it the way it was listed in the bloody flight plan. The well, that's very good of you. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Whoops. I've that's never flown around up Ireland with the Orthos before. It's, it's nice to see it like this. That's Harland the Wolf over there. Is that Harland the Wolf? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Will be, yeah. Yeah. That's Belfast Harbour over there. I recognise the big yellow crane gantries. I am taking a very vague head in here because I am taking pictures at the same time for historical purposes, though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm turning into the, the barracks, it's just around about where the big football pitch is over here. Have you mentioned the incidents of uh, the date tonight, Stuart? Oh yeah, seven years ago today we released the Gazelle. That's us past the waypoint now. And now we're left. going left to Manchester. I'm about to die. Don't no, die. No, don't do it, mate. Don't die. They've retired. These helicopters are now retired, so don't break them. They're now vintage. For fuck's sake. Expensive. Yeah, that actually tells me they return them. <laughs> what happened? I lost what sight of the group and um, I tried to have a look around and then lost control. Over torqued it. No, yeah, that's we're the past it. trend. And... We, were, we were passing close to Douglas Isle Man shortly, so that'll be a place to spawn if you want. The HUD is disabled because it doesn't have one, Sonny. We don't need no HUD. Hit shift I. The HST. <laughs> what is it? Is it referring to the HST as the train? Or? Well, I don't know. The choo choo train? Last night, you won. They sold a load to Mexico, I think, didn't they? We've got a, a thumbs up from Rico on Facebook. Thank you, Rico. Stuart, why don't you tell us some interesting facts about the gazelle? Uh, well, it's been uh, a staple of the British forces since I think 1972, I think it was, it first was brought in about. 75. 75, sorry, there you go, okay. Um, this one's licensed built by Westland. Essentially, it's it's similar to a 341 Gazelle from Air Special. Uh, although. Oh, la la. Ooh, la, la. Um, although they did receive tail rotor upgrades because the early ones used to have um, lots of tail rotor efficiency quite often and um, that was a little bit of a problem so the tail rotors got upgraded to the same standard as the AS342 version of the Gazelle from France. So it's a hodgepodge of uh, two different versions of the Western Gazelle. Are we slowing? No, nope, sorry. Slightly. Oh, what's happening here? There we go. I'm using the PTT on my stick, so I must be slowly pulling my stick back slightly. Got work to do. Leave your stick alone. Well, if I don't work my stick, the thing's not going to work, is it? Mm, them nasty sticks, then. Still maintaining whatever altitude this is. 
The Gazelle has a, a special place in my helicopter heart, as it's one of my favourite little helicopters. It was also the, the first helicopter I managed to get my dad on board to fly in, and he hated every minute of it. The, the windows, windows in the Gazelle are not exactly very robust, and he didn't like the fact that the window was rattling when it was flying. Whole thing rattles. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. So it's just like a Russian helicopter. Only faster. <laughs> anyway, so that's uh, uh, limited knowledge of facts I have about the Gazelle at the moment. It did hold the world speed record for helicopter for a while. Yeah. Well, nobody was going to mention that. What was the speed record? Was it, I think it was 150. No, 150 something. I can't remember off the top of my head because I didn't look. Probably didn't remember it. I think it was 150 odd knots. Then the Russians took it with the hind, and then then we took it back with the Lynx. For his age, this is really quite a fast helicopter. Isn't it? For his day, it was groundbreaking. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a slow thing. Oh no, uh, it's not a slow thing. It's still licensed but little on uh, Croatia, I think it is. One of the Slavic countries, anyway. What to be built? Yeah, they still license built them over there. Um, but um, the they stopped. Them. They stopped. Uh, oh, I don't. Yeah. Have they stopped them now? Yeah, they made some in Yugoslavia. Quite a lot of them. The specification of those ones is quite different though as well. I think they were more like 342s than this one. The base model, like like uh, the MOD always goes for. Yeah, cheap and cheerful. That didn't work so well with our Chinooks a few years ago when they bought them while they first refused permission to fly. They were so low spec. <laughs> Anyway, so there is some newer ones out there, obviously, if you want to buy one from abroad. Uh, but uh, certainly, as far as the British forces were concerned, uh, they were now too expensive to maintain. They're still quite popular as a civilian chopper in the UK, aren't they? Yeah, but there's not many of the XMOD ones as civilian registered. They're no, they're the, only they're the 342s, I think, aren't they? They yeah. got the same spare part problem, I guess. Yeah. The difference between the MOD spec one and the civilian one was the, um, the MOD one didn't have the, the cargo hold in the back that was accessible from outside. You could only access it from removing the back seats or lifting the back seats and poking yourself into it that way. That doesn't seem like a great option. No, because it wasn't really a consideration at the time, you know, nobody carries suitcases in the gazelle and the forces, you know. I know, but so, surely you need to carry stuff. Yeah, but uh, the other po point that was, when you've got the, the, the weapon package options on the gazelles and bolts sticking a, a scaffold pole through them from one side to the other, and then bolting stuff to it, so it kind of made the, the whole buggish door thing not really feasible. You couldn't get in there anyway. No, it's not a lot of room. Maybe you'll learn to do it. I have to say, everyone right. is flying a pretty tight group. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased that everyone made the effort to do this tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for putting it together, Stuart. Sure. I'm now flying looking. I'm looking to the rear, so I'm trying to fly inverse. Well, take a video to the rear so people can see how many we've got. We are here. This was the first aircraft I ever worked on, so I had to go along for this. I do like the I do. I really do like the It's very, very versatile. And it's fast.
You can see it's heritage coming from the likes of the llama and the alouette too with the shape of the canopy. It's just a bit more streamlined and they've got a body in the back with the trench with the nail on the back. But uh, you can always tell the lineage for these things. You can even carry through to the current um, H models. The one, uh, the, uh, the, one, uh, the 120 and such like. Still get the image of the shape, although it's a lot shorter. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately I never saw them flying on the left so I know I was too late for the party so, but uh, yeah, it would have been a nice picture. Oh. We have a message on Twitch. Oh, oh Twitch message. It's someone trying to sell us something. Bugger off. What, 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 what are they selling? Helicopters. <laughs> oh. They want to offer promotion of our channel. Why do they think we need promotional services? We've been, only been doing this 12 years and got one view. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing enough promotion ourselves, thank you. We've reached peak desirability of the channel. <laughs> that would love the hardest show. promotion job in the fucking world, this one. Yeah, I know. Who the hell's that way down there going like a bat? I don't know. Uh, Warty's out from Off to the port. There's a caravan no, park down there, Stuart. There, do you wanna there is. There is. I, don't, I don't know what one it is. We are now exiting Ireland. We're crossing the Irish East Slash North Channel. We're heading across country, well, across water to uh, our next waypoint, which is Manchester. So it's going to be Manchester. a bit wa watery. Yeah. It's an well, hour away, over water! Well, except for the Isle of Man. Yeah, the Isle of Man, of course, the Isle of Man. I should say that. Unfortunately, there's no other way of doing it. If we want to follow the actual waypoint, we have got to cross the water at some point. And that's some point might have been out. Why did they actually start at that point? What's that say again? Why did they start here? It was all the places that the um, Gazelle have been based over its years, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. It's final service is really in the Northern Islands, so that's where it's died. Alright. Yeah, not all the Grove was the last ones in service. Yeah. There was only three, the, the video I posted up on the, on the thread showed the actual last three serviceable gazelles, that was them doing the flight. There's no, no we are, well, more than one warehouse, there's two or three warehouses full of them. All under covers and stripped out. Yeah, there's been a few for years that they've been selling off in the usual MOD way where you get you can buy a helicopter and two crates worth of engines and enough parts to keep it going for years if you can afford it and convince someone to maintain it for you. Yeah, but the thing is, the last reason why the wind maintenance costs were getting excessive. We've got four viewers on Facebook at the minute. Hello, viewers. Welcome, Facebook viewers. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. This is uh, the riveting overseas portion. But... Sorry, but we have to cross the water at some point. Look at this, though. Everyone's doing really well. Perhaps we should fly gazelles more often. This is not a really particularly difficult job to fly. It gets difficult when you start doing difficult stuff with it, like high speed maneuvers and stuff, then you can break it really, really easily. But if you're cruising in it, it's perfectly fine. I did a flight earlier, I flew from my home up to Cumbernall, but earlier, up the, to up the Clyde Coast, and perfectly fine. I did nod off a couple of times, but uh, it still survived. Cumbernall, does that how you pronounce it? Yes. Noted. I take it 200 is not a good speed for this. <laughs> oh, oh no. No, that's Dead death again. speed. <laughs> That'll be your last speed, yeah. Do not exceed 155. <laughs> 200 <million. laughs> you, see, you see the red line on the speedo? Don't go no. for that. <laughs> he doesn't see red lines. 
Captain's danger. Come on, Blaine. Don't go past the grey one. Oh, Red line <laughs> means danger. I mean, it is a quite a stable wee job of this. I mean, I'm actually flying hands off at the moment. Yeah, because you're using autopilot like a cheating bastard. No, no, I'm not using autopilot to maintain <laughs> altitude, nothing else. Just, uh, yeah, just, the just maintain the altitude, the heading, speed. Apart from that, I'm doing No, it. I am not maintaining <laughs> heading or speed. That sounds about right. <laughs> I am not maintaining heading or speed with autopilot. I'll even put it on screen for people to see. The only one that is active is the pitch control and vertical speed set to zero to maintain my current altitude. That is it. Everyone else is in manual. Well, I enjoy a good hand job, so I'm doing it myself. Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's nice. Yep. Isle of Man ahead. Alex, are you the grey one? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. I think I just ran out of scenery. Oh. Okay. I it's scenery. just ahead of us. It wouldn't take long to tear a sink. Isle of Man, would it? I don't think so. Probably just a couple of megs. I had so many crazy desktops. <laughs> oh man, for uh, while they're gathering uh, scenery. Oh. Still good old like. But flying over the ocean, I have to say, it looks really nice. Uh, it's in, it's in cool high pressure, so the sea's quite calm and it looks quite good, I think. Yeah. Well, I heard the temperatures are quite low over there in Chicago area at the moment. Winter's coming. Oh, yeah. Is that where you've been, dude? No! I would like to, but no. I'm just down with the uh, big sea virus onto my body. Ah, oh, yeah, that's just <laughs> How you found it? That's pretty, pretty good, actually. It was one week of misery, but uh, after that, actually, um, I'm actually quite stable. It's actually quite nice. My antibodies <coughs> seem to be doing a quite a good job. Well, I've got a sinus infection. I'm on antibiotics. I feel like shit, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've got a nick infection, but they won't give me antibiotics, so. What, 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 what kind of infection? In my day. I, I don't know if I knelt or something or... Get, like, it's in the... It, my knee like swelled up and I couldn't move it. And it it's been oh, sure. a very painful week. <laughs> yeah. Head is last, head is me. Had that last week already, hadn't you? Uh, yeah, it started last... It started last Saturday, and uh, it, it's getting better now, but it was horrible. Like by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was unable to move without nearly being sick from the pain. That sucks. Yeah, well, it sucks. I'm going to take us around the south side of uh, Isle of Man. So they're going over the mountains. Yeah, 
Yeah, Corbett. Corbett seems to be sprinting fast actually in Germany at the moment. Yeah, I think it's made a bit of a comeback over here as well, but are there, are there like lots of people that have got it where we, you are good? Mm. Yep. It's not, it's not as bad, of course, because it is like this uh, current variant, which is not really that uh, violent as, as the ones before, but um, still. It's, uh, it seems to be spread like uh, yeah, the beast. And is there a requirement to test to see if you have it or, or, or what? It's a little bit like no. more uncertain over here you now. It's just sort of, yeah, you get on with it. Yeah. It's not, I mean, I guess due to the fact that it is not as uh, dangerous as it was before, um, you don't really have to do anything. You just show up at the doctor. Um, you actually, I mean, he just. Uh, Came a prescription two weeks at home. That was it. Right. I think it's more or less like a flu. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I, I mean, I am the one actually trying to take care about, uh, or, or take care of like the people around me to, by not showing up actually. Uh, but no one tells me not to. Day in the Almost there. If we took the correct transit route, we wouldn't be flying across Isle of Man, we'd be flying across my bit. It's the, right. shortest, it's the shortest sea gap between Ireland and mainland. And it would have transited down that way. I've been about the Isle of Man there, but we went to Anglesey first, to Bali. Bali, then up to Isle of Man, then across. But I've also been your way as well. As they used to, it used to always be my way in the later part, and I had a gazelle pilot staying with us, and he said that it's the only way they let them do it now because of the single engine. I've certainly never come this way. No, no, not this way, no. You, you need emergency to do this, really. And nobody, yes. nobody wants to go to them. Get all of Crossing points from Port Patrick across to, I can't remember, there's a lighthouse on the side of Irish side that they had, I used that as a marker. I can't remember the name of them. Yeah, it's good. Do you know if the ice shield actually got down to this point as well? What, sorry? Do you know by any chance if the ice shield got down to this point? The ice fields? Well, look recently. No, oh, the shield. No, the ice shield. Back, back when the uh, back in the in the last ice age. Oh yes, it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's all right uh, now. It's all right now. It's not there now. It's gone. We had it removed. <laughs> oh, come on. If anyone has an engine failed on it, well, good knowing you. Well, multiplayer says I'm connected, but I don't see anybody else. What? Really? Uh, uh, change server. Yeah, been there, done that. Well, you not, are, I don't know you know what the only Frankfurt was, so I Shit, you connection over there, huh? Welcome to former Viking stronghold of the island, huh? The Vikings that went all the way round and missed the uh, main body of England and Scotland. 
No, no, a lot of Scotland is Viking as well. I think so, right? Yeah. But, yeah, no, I mean, if they, if, they, if they came here, they must have missed the entirety of that. They went across that way first. They didn't have GPS in them, did they? Yeah, no, no, yeah they got there. right across. Sometimes you give somebody a map and they can't read it. I pull it upside down. Like off that, off a boat chain. I thought Scotland was bigger than this. And fucking hell, wasn't that motorbike going first? <laughs> Check out that noise, I'll be back. Alright, the gun. Michael? Yeah. He's in the States. Got him back. Just shoot. It's a nanny to. It's Pug's night. <laughs> we know he's singing to them. Are we screaming? No! No, let us go! <laughs> we just kind of rob you. Hasn't he got a fuckload of guns anyway? Yeah, but you can only cut it one or two at a time, you know. Sanchez are way better. Yeah. I did want a banjo, but they're really expensive. I think they are, are they? I mean, a, what is it like? Uh, it, it's pretty hard to build one, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I think they're quite complex, but I don't, I don't know. I just think I look good with one. It's because you've got duck teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can sort that out. <laughs> I try the banjo first, and then if I'm good at it, I can work on the look. Straw hat, do you know? Uh, 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 straw, straight up straw. Oh no, but round here the foxes piss on the straw, so that's not a great option. Right, that was the Isle of Man when they were heading to the mainland. They're following the cargo ship. Are we? I can't see one. Oh yeah, there's one. Well, there. Twelve o'clock. It's true. If you say over there, yeah, it's back. not helpful. I'm pointing. Can't you see? Ah, yeah. The only point I see from you is on the top of your head. Ah, no, he's back. You all right, Voodoo? Oh, yeah. I don't know what that was, but I'll have to go look when we're done with the flight. Something fell someplace in the house. Oh, okay. Well, it's not Halloween anymore, so it's not Jason or Freddy. Hey, I mean, come, come on, on. Anything like that is going to be scared of voodoo. Yeah, yeah just look at me. Just look at me. Yeah. Ron, he's got no pants on. And the banjo. And the banjo. You alright, Porky? Yeah, I'm good. I will speak to you. Sounds like a party there. Porky's always having a party. Oh, yeah. A party of one. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they're the best kind. Sometimes. Sometimes. So, everybody managing to handle the gazelle okay then, I take it? Yeah, I've only been on fire three times. Well, I... You told me, Stuart, this is going to be a night of death, destruction and misery, and so far everyone's doing really well. We haven't landed yet. 
No, but this thing's easy to land. Okay. We'll see. We still have one Twitch viewer. How are we doing on Facebook? We're down to one at the minute. No. Oh. It's the sea crossing that does it. Yeah, it's the sea crossing, yeah, it's a bit one. Yeah, damn that short. Does it? If we did it through the, the normal routes around out my way and that, it would have an extra hour and a half again. So, no. It happened. Yeah, yeah, he's doing. You're normally talking about the buses, you know, like, we were ex ex doing exactly the same. What? On a straight line over water. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. I wasn't quite aware that there's that much water yeah, but between I'm Ireland and England. I'm doing it because we have limited time on a flight night to get it all done. I'm not doing it because I'm flying on a straight line, just for flying on a straight line. Uh, mayday, mayday, mayday. Oh, oh not again. See, Porky's not flying the straight line, you know, he's a <laughs> rebel! I don't know, all the other group just appeared on screen and then the rotors started hopping around all over the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm still here, I'm just really slow and behind me. Yeah, not literally, but literally. A bit slow, yeah. Yeah, on my way home this evening, I spotted five houses that have got full Christmas lights up now. Oh, oh yes. And, and did you bomb them on the way past? Well, no, I didn't want to be late to the flight. Okay. Go back and bomb them down. light. Go back and do it. <laughs> I mean, full on Christmas lights. Yeah, the, the Danish <laughs> barrel bomb. And I saw one, uh, one business that had a Christmas tree up. What? Yay, tree up what? <laughs> well, <laughs> nothing yet, but it was in the window. Well, at, at where the hotel where Gemma works, there's a cleaner now again. They have had a Christmas tree up in the foyer since August. <laughs> okay. August? August. <laughs> oh, that's nice. a pig's take. And it's about the a Christmas book in DC. That's what they said. Yeah, I've got an idea for you. Gemma works there. Has she thought about stealing the mini toiletries? And you can give them out to your guests when they arrive. Uh, no thanks. Has she thought about stealing all the little biscuits from the rooms and sending them to me? Um, no, probably she hasn't. No. Oh, the girl's help has actually been under recently. That's voodoo. Sorry, shooting video. Yeah, it looks good in my video. The gazelle's one of the few things in flight gear that actually looks right in formation. The, the proportions and everything still look right when you're in formation. Yeah. Well, it's good looking, there's no doubt about it. Attractive. Very attractive. Very attractive. I will admit I hacked the living shit out of the AP so I could shoot videos, too. Sorry. Well, I mean, if you'd have got the latest one, it's got, it's got the version 2 AP in it and it will hold up, you just sort of click a button. What latest one? The one that we last got told is it had version 2 autopilot in it. The latest one. Yeah, everyone should have that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, to be fair to Stuart, it does work. He did tell me how to use it the other day and I did try it. If you put the autopilot on and put the vertical speed on zero, it'll hold the altitude and it'll hold a heading. Just don't ask it to turn, otherwise it'll have a shit fit. <laughs> Alright. That was not an invitation for you to try it in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, not a good idea. Oh, something's no. going down. <laughs> Someone tried it. Flash. Oh, flash. Ah! <laughs> flash. It's Splash! Ha <laughs> Splash! <laughs> splash! <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh god, who would we pick on if we didn't have Flash? Would've been me, wouldn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Flash, Good Flash, 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 Flash. Oh dear. So Stuart, to fill the time, tell us about the antenna on the front of the gazelle. It's an HF antenna. Fuck, you know, you know how to fill time, don't you? <laughs> Where did he there was a chance there for you to fill at least three minutes telling us about the radio fit out, but no. I, 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 I've never flown a gazelle. I've flown in a gazelle, but I've flown a gazelle. I, in, Walking, in a work, tell us about the antenna on the front. Could do a better job than Stuart just did. Somebody tells me what you should have done this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a VHF, you mean the HF wheel on the front, yeah. It's for homing, the up, for homing in on VHF signals like you would, um, like a squaddy would be carrying around. If you were looking to come pick somebody up, yeah, or an RV, yeah, it would be ideal for that kind of thing. Uh, fair enough, that makes sense. I did wonder why it was mounted on the front rather than the bottom. Um, because you want it to look forward, don't you? Yeah. But, I mean, it's a VHF, so it's, it's kind of whip aerial kind of thing. It's what he would carry around back in the day. Now you're using mobile phones, I suppose, but back in the day you had a whip aerial thing, which was um, why it was that size. We also, in Ireland, made some modified ones because <laughs> they were sticking little transmitters on cars. And they wanted to track them for the gazelle, so we taped some uh, basically copper wire to the windscreen, and that worked pretty well. Remember the guy coming over from the uh, what was called the Muppets, saying, "I want a homing aerial." I said, "Yeah, what frequency is it?" And he said, "I can't tell you that; it's secret, like you know." I said, "Well, <laughs> well that's not how aerials work, mate." I said, "Well." Tell me what, what size you want it then. We come back and see it needs to be like so many millimetres by so many metres. So a quick calculate, so it's as such as your feet was dead. How the fuck do you know that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I used the maths. <laughs> what a wavelength. <laughs> what a wavelength out from the lens of the area. He was never good in physics back then. So is it, is it a half wave antenna on the front then? It's port wavelength, isn't it? That's the, that's the basic, you know, how, how home and aerials work. So if you if you know how big it is, you can figure out what the frequency is. Even somewhere in the sort of, I don't know, 20, 30 kilohertz, I suppose. But I'll come back and look it up. Are we there yet? Not yet, mate. Are the, we there the, yet? There's a switch on the sort of um, top left of the black. Perspex thing where you can select what you want it to form into, and that will drive that to, to, uh, that that pointer. Okay. Pointer points away. That'd be quite a fun little addition, then, Mister. Well, the pointer does point up as it is. Yeah, it's set set pointer away point, isn't it? Yeah. In, in real life it doesn't do that, because there's no GPS, but... Where was the Muppet, that guy who uh, used to polish windscreen to that museum saying, this hasn't got a pointer on it. I said, well, Sibby ones didn't have it, because <laughs> it was a BHF homer. I see oil rigs. Ah, <laughs> Lewis bonfire tonight, so it's the crazy one where I'm surprised a thousand people don't die in a chair. Oh. 
we had big gas in last night, I seen one this morning before we left. What was that racket last night? Was that fireworks? And, uh, it was. Why would there be fireworks? It's a fireworks display. Oh. It's free, we put it on for you. Oh yeah, oil bricks. Oil rigs. This is where we did the test in the... Was it the Wessex we flew out right there? No, not the Wessex. Uh, we did the test in... Sea King? Sea Kings, yes. We did the Sea Kings out here. Oh, we've been here a couple of times, huh? Yeah, we did, we've done flight nights out to these oil rigs as well. Yeah. We got out to the back pool. This is, where, this is where we discovered that if you switch the three, third person view while you're parked on the zipper structure, you fall through it. So we're just on Blackpool. <laughs> well, Blackpool's just over there, yeah. Well, where, we're where Stuart just is over there. Well done, Stuart. Again, <laughs> once you're pointing is exemplary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> point, he's pointing port side a little bit. Mostly. Is Margaret in the room? I want to know if you give directions in the same way. No, she's not in the room at the moment. I think I'm pointing to more. So when we're on the ground where a herd of gazelles, what do we hear? Flock? What the hell? What, what uh, the flock hell? Flock well, we're, more, we're more of a flock up, I think. A flock up, yeah. Flock it up. Is Manchester on halfway point, Stuart? Yes. I need a wave, that's all. I told you to bring a ball. Whee! Need a ball. Bring a bowl. That's what Stuart means by bring a bucket party. Bring your own ball. Oh, I'm not going to share one, am I? The one? Uh, I'd need one with a wider neck anyway. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I didn't even say you'd need oh, one with a really oh, tiny oh, neck. I anyway. can't share your <laughs> bottle, it's not going in there. <laughs> There's no way that's going in there. Bottle, it's more of a barrel, really. Is it rifled? Six. Uh, it depends on where I'm standing. <laughs> that's how cold it is. <laughs> Where's your boyfriend tonight, Alex? Oh, <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. Oh, did you guys break up? <laughs> <laughs> if you were listening at the start of the show, and I'm assuming you're talking about Anne. Who else? <laughs> and he's not here him. because he's on a date night with his wife, because Saturday is their date night. Mm. That's really wrong. They get rid of the kid and, uh, well, I don't know. Thump like fires. <laughs> I'd hope he's at least one of the viewers on one of the streams, but who knows. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Here you are, love. Let's put something special on, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think there's anything else that looks as realistic flying in formation as the gazelle. The, the, I don't know what it is, sometimes in flight gear the proportions of aircraft over MP just don't translate well. Just the video of it is really nice. I don't always, uh, because we use a lot of uh, more sophisticated avionics in the aircraft, they use more bandwidth and therefore it's cutting the quality down. I don't know. There's, there's not a lot to the gazelle, it's all analog. Yeah, but it looks so good. It does. I just shot a flyby. Ooh, very nice. Let's do another. 
I think also because the the way the shaders and the, the bump map and everything has got. Ah, where's wide. Stuart gone? I know where I'm here. Did you take a screenshot or something like that? No, no, I touched it. Well, I leaped back a bit, a little yeah. lag, a little lag. Oh, I'm lost. You can't be lost. You just go that way. Have you tried Hare Krishna? Hare, Hare Krishna. Oh, it reminds me of that scene from the uh, airplane. Uh, I've watched that for ages. <laughs> there, there were so many scenes in there. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a long film. There were several <laughs> scenes, but... Oh, where, where he walks into the airport to start. No, when the, 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 the head honcho comes in to rescue the plane, he walks into the airport. Have you tried Harry Krishna? Bump. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Bump. Be small up. Have you tried ah. for Jesus? No, don't remember that scene? Nope. No. So, no, no. I, yeah, I, I, remember, I remember the Swiss guys. The Swiss guys were cool. Thinking of the Muppet movies for like, I'm lost. Have you tried Harry Krishna? That was the running gag through the whole show. Oh, there he is again! Flying straight through by her. Oh, right. I'm flying through him, he said he got back. That's what she said. Cessna panel pops up in front of us. What? I don't know why. That is strange. There it is again. What the fuck's going on there? That's the new view settings you can set to 2D panel. Yeah, make sure it's on that. tick in the view settings. Yeah, make sure it's on tick. Mm -hmm. Is that in cockpit view or is it a normal view? Cockpit view, I think. No, it's not in there. Normal beer then. Yeah, disabled. Hopefully, or permanently good. It's rather distracting when it fills your screen, you can't see what the fuck you're doing. That'll yeah, that problem. must really upset your uh, autopilot settings. Like, it's only the altitude that's an autopilot, the rest is all manual. Are we there yet? Almost! Really? If you feel bored, you can stop off at uh, an oil rig and get something from the bar. It's alright, we're nearly at, nearly at Blackpool, Southport Head. The pier at Southport, I think. Is that? I think so. I think it's a good yet. Really? I can't see it, but... Alex, Margaret has arrived in the room. You may address her with your questions now. Margaret, earlier Stuart was um, helping us all by giving incredibly vague directions and then claiming he was pointing in the direction we needed to go. Does he normally do this? <laughs> yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Stuart, annoying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did bring you out to find the noisiest species aircraft in the world. I thought we, I thought we'd be hating this a lot more. Oh, you can't hide the gazelle. 
And this is uh, and this is one of the advantages of everybody flying the same aircraft is we can stay together. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, I see the land now. I see the uh, Blackpool Tower over there. About 10, 11 o'clock. I've got a little bit more haze than you've got. I don't see the tower. I've got a bit too much haze, you can't see nothing. Any of people. Is it purple haze? No, no Jimmy Hendrix or Bill Spike. From the sound of the uh, mid 90s RB in the background there, it wouldn't surprise me. What's that? Boomer is that, music. Is that, is that Missy Elliott? Uh, that's the TK Max advert. The TK Max. Ah, well, the style and sophistication, I see. Bloody love it, TK Max. Andy's favourite vodka brand. Uh, what's that? TK Max. TK Max. No, he likes his. Kentucky Burger, doesn't he? However you say it. Kentucky. Oh, Hi, so we are approaching the land. We are on the fucking main land. Where is the land? After the extensive uh, water crossing that we should never have done in the first place, we have to stop the rain. So. Budo? Yes? I'm going to ask a silly question. There, over in, uh, in America, do you, do you chaps have uh, mince pies at Christmas? Have what? Fuck. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> mince pies? Uh, that's right. Jesus. No, not Jesus pies. What do they? Do you know, it's funny, I was thinking earlier about how miserable it would be to have Christmas in a bag. I didn't think they wouldn't have mince pies. <laughs> I mean, they don't have only fools and horses Christmas special. There's no Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. What are you going to watch on the telly? <laughs> but I, I was going to tell Voodoo how a friend of mine has made Lafroyig mince pies, but there's no point if he hasn't had mince pies. Oh, oh. Anything with LaFroig in it's got to be good. <laughs> My brother just came back from your side of the pond and uh, while he was at the uh, the Oban distillery, got me uh, a couple of glasses. Oh, uh, proper uh, Glen Cairn glasses. Mm -hmm. What did you call it? Oban? Auburn, not Auburn. Oh, okay. Oh, he was, he was close enough. No, he wasn't. Now, if you got a proper Glen Cairn glass, it does, it does make a difference. Right, Southport ahead. Next stop, Manchester, and uh, half time break. Uh, there's one of the waypoints. Thank goodness, my back teeth are floating over here. Huh? Oh dear. Why did you go? Why did you go to Barton? I don't know. It's on the list. It's on the waypoint. So that's where we're going. Yeah, I, I know it's on the list of places, and I've seen a video of them leaving Barton. But why there? I don't know. Didn't they um, manufacture some bits of Barton, or did they do engine oil calls? Or was it just a wee few of them? I don't know. I, I, I used to fly Cessnas out there when I was a, a young lad. Yeah, it was the uh, Lancashire Aero Club. It's just a grass strip with Cessnas. Not anymore, but because um, the people who bought it uh, kicked, the, kicked them out. They're in uh, somewhere near uh, Liverpool now. They've never had anything to do with the Army Air Corps or the, uh, any of the military. No I, thought was, they, 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 I thought there was an engineering company there. I might be wrong. Not in Barton, no. 
I can understand them going to Wood Bay, but at least it's an area, an old area place. But I'm just baffled by why they went to Barton, unless somebody lived there. What? <laughs> Oh, there's a, um, oh, oh, yeah. there's a beer there. Oh, there's a beer. Well, we came back from um, Northern Ireland once. We stopped in Manchester because uh, the boss lived up the valley for me in Rottenstone. So we stopped in Manchester and got a lift. It's as simple as that. There's nothing tactical about a lot of these decisions. Yeah. If you want to go and see your mum, you just park up and go and see her, don't you? Yeah. That's how it's done. <laughs> That's past North that port. So the Andrews was that at the coast that the No, no. Uh, it was just uh, on the on the way. We we're going ah. to embark on Manchester, which is a few miles away this way. Ah. I think with all these gazelles would fill the place. There's a massive shopping centre near Barton, never did stop off to get some bits and bobs. Yeah, uh, yeah quite okay. possible. Oh yeah, we must stop for a refuel, Cookies. but let's get down at Morrison's. Yeah. There's a, a tiny little grass strip that's becoming more and more popular. I think it's near Oxford. It's gone more and more popular with um, General aviation flyers. There's absolutely nothing there, nothing to it. But uh, there's a there's a McDonald's just over the road. It's one of the few places you can get a McDonald's accessible by airfield. <laughs> that accounts for its popularity, then, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Look, it's, it's an option, isn't it? Because you you go to an expensive airfield where you might have to pay a landing fee of fifty quid and thirty pound for parking. Uh, and then pay another 70 quid in a restaurant if you want a cheap little flight out. But actually, you, you could go to a farm strip and land and put a fiver in the box, then go and get yourself a Happy Meal. Yeah. They could take sandwiches. Or probably they actually want to do, uh, you know, recalculate the weight calculation after one hour flight. <laughs> yeah. Like if, you, if you manage to get yourself a, a 20 box of nuggets or something. Yeah. Right, so we are nine minutes away from uh, Manchester Barton, and that's where we will be stopping for our uh, half-time refuel break. And it will How be long are we getting for a break, boss? Five minutes. Oh, You took a big, uh, big leap backwards again, Wood. <laughs> where are you? I, I'm I'm to 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 for Alex, uh, it's his bladder. <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> You wear back last. <laughs> <laughs> Piss in the shower in one. Is he coming back to it? I'm still here. I don't know. He's out front. I see him. He's in front of me and Voodoo. Okay. Am I up front of you guys then? No. No. Not that I can see. What oh. one are you in here? Are you in a gazelle? Oh, yeah, again. Down there. Oh fuck, there he is. Got very blurry orthos around here. I think that's a whiskey. Oh, I couldn't get the orthos this time, but it looks good anyways. I mean. Like it does a good job actually uh, in the UK area on itself. Yeah, if you got the ISM roads and buildings, it's actually very nice. Uh. Are we there yet? Yeah. Nearly. Yeah, nearly. Got to pass over Wigan and and a bit further. Mm -hmm. 
Do we not like Wigan or is that a football reference? He used to go up here there. I don't think they got them at Southport. Up here? Up here. I don't think they got a pier in Wigan. It's, it's landlocked. They're all fucking. It's not going to have a pier. Yeah, you can have a pier these days, you can have whatever you want. It can be a hard. Uh, what way it identifies as a pier? Oh god, this is non binary LBGT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Quit it! Quit it! It's a box. It's a box. There's a golf course. It's alright, he's coming up behind you. What? What do you do with your stuttering? Race yourself. Oh, stop. What? It's alright, just down and to the right a bit, Gabe. Yeah. Oh shit, there's one there, ain't blowing. Is it way down there? There is, that'll be the M6. Okay, up north to uh, Stuart Lips. Yep. Uh, I don't know, get up somewhere, well, yeah. Yeah. I guess you have to, like, have to exit M6, right? And then it's like another hour or something like that, maybe? No. No, it takes ages to get to Scotland. Oh, ages. <laughs> Where from here, how long would it be? Manchester? Oh. Three hours? Three and a half. I was going to say three and a half. Okay. Nice countryside though. Through the Lake District. Very pretty. Oh yeah. Lots of four them buildings here. Yeah. Yeah. Since it's going to Manchester, be sure to lock the canopies in your cockpits and before you park your helicopter for drinks. Well, so don't pack back. it on bricks. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll nick the skids. Am I still flying the correct uh, heading? I am flying the correct heading. Am I? Gun gate. Oh, oh, oh. 11. Turn right a bit, Gate. Up 20 degrees. Oh, right. I see. Okay. Thank you. What was oh, that, that thing we had in, in flight gear before the they did the ISM build? What was the, the, that shader that made the, the cities 3D? Oh, that was the basic shader when you had the uh, ISM turned off. Yeah. <laughs> That was hideous, wasn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That, was, <laughs> yeah. that was one of those parallax uh, shaders. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, nah, it was a good idea. No, no, know. no, no, good. no, no, no. That was awful. Not that one. No, <laughs> no I did want to say that it was. It, it looked nice. It was awful. It looked really strange. Hey, but it was a good idea, awesome. maybe you know, just like to fill up the space uh, somehow. I mean, back then, you know, uh, they didn't know how to um, render. Oh yeah, there was there was no right? OSM buildings or anything like that back then. It was the, uh, we got to remember it was it was probably ten years ago now. We got to allow for that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why it just, just came into my head then that you know you just fly around everything and just looked like it was bumpy. It was strange. It was strange. Holy crap, this looks good. The city, this escape coming up. Holy crap. Two minutes. Two minutes. 
Yeah, more miles. all those buildings. That's that's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. It's pretty it's impressive. Good. Yeah. It's quite interesting that's what uh, video cards can actually do these days. So. Oh, where well, are we going, Stuart? Sure. We're, we're descending. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm descending at 500 feet from that. Entschuldigung, Sandy, dass ich sonst wo nicht geführt habe. Okay. Naja. Ah, I'm looking for the airfield, is there any here somewhere? Professional to the last. Oh, oh the screen freeze! Ah, it's really gone. Oh, uh, I don't know, the screen freeze there. The screen freeze, huh? Yeah, that as well. Where's the airfield? Over here. To be right. Beyond, yeah. beyond, beyond these trees. To the shopping centre. Uh -huh. Is that that white thing over there, the shopping centre? Thing with the pale blue dormy tops. That's what I meant. What is, is that? that the the the. Oh, what's it called? Yeah, that one. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Full of shops. Is it a shopping centre? <laughs> Fucking kidnapped. <laughs> right, here's the airfield. All the grass strips, so... Oh, yeah, there it is. Is it that old? It That's is. just a small airstrip. In reality? Yeah. Just a grass airstrip, yeah. All oh, right, but they got a modern airport as well, right? Manchester, yeah. <laughs> airport. Modern airport. Yeah, despite being in Lancashire, they do have some modern facilities. <laughs> we even got so trams there. So what is that blue thing actually? Well, have a look when we depart. The shopping centre. You're not, you're not paying attention. Uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a big outlet. Okay. I'm going to land near the tower. Yeah. I like the way it's all brown, even in November. Well used, buddy. They take good care of it, yeah. I've got a feeling some of us can't see this airport. <laughs> There's a tower! <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Like when I'm landing. Oh my god, what's the stuttering all of a sudden? Yeah, I got that one that's landing. Right, I am down. Find me. and aeroplanes in the tower and I'm off for a week. I can see a bloody sewerage farm. Well, look for the other helicopters.
from the air fuel. Oh, who's in fire? Just for a change, it's not me. Is it flash? It's me. Ah! Was he on fire? He was. I, could, I, I was looking for that shopping centre and I accidentally caught the aircraft and oh. uh, <laughs> on, on the map and piled it into the uh, Trafford Centre. Oh, that's it, Trafford Centre. Trafford Centre, that's the one. Trafford Centre, thank you. That's the one we couldn't remember. I couldn't remember, the rest of you were just withholding it from me. You can't fly through it, that's for sure. <laughs> what did you try and get to the front door? Well, it's solid, solid northern building, that. That's pretty solid building, yeah. Yeah. Right, that's enough for me. Thank you very much, Joe. Well, thank you for showing up, Morgan. Cash line, mate. There go. <laughs> My arm hurts. <laughs> That's a different story. Uh, no, because oh. I have to keep pressure on the... I have to keep pressure on the um, stick to keep it level with float. Aha. Uh -huh. Try trimming it. Uh, last time I tried that, accidentally uh, I died. Make sure you refuel before you take off again. Does it need it? Hey? Does it need refueling? Yes. Well, that first, isn't it? Make sure there will be a quarter tank left, better than a three minute tank. Oh, yeah, I forgot I started from the fucking. Good luck guys, see you later. See you mate. Yeah. Gemma got a lot of stuff on Tuesday for Halloween. As you usually do. And having a dig through it. You know those little mini bags of horrible you get? Oh yeah. So you got quite a few of them. There is one little mini bag of horrible, which is sealed, it's not been opened. And there is one item in it. One little part in it. That's all. That must be an especially stingy option. Yeah. All the rest of them are normal, you know, the pack and pull, but that, that one that's sealed and there's only one thing in it. I've got it set on my desk, I'll do a photograph it. Send it to them. Might get some freebies. Right, who's not back? Who's not ready? I'm back, but I got no scenery out and out. No water. Not quite. Get spun up, we are not spun up. Get fueled up, we are not fueled up. It was it was working. Uh -huh. I'm gonna reset my sound actually. Yeah. Uh, is it possible because it, 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 it'll be burning all the time from now on? Yep, it's quite easy. You uh, go to your sound configuration, select the different sound device it's not actually plugged in, apply ah. it, and then set your old back again. Okay. Right, so we will be departing, uh, we'll be heading sullenly. Uh, the next destination I'll just tell you is... IF Strawberry, which is the home of uh, helicopter training. Uh, it's 41.6 nautical miles. Shouldn't take us long to get there. And then we're dancing between the waypoints the whole way from there. Right, so... Watch me for the takeoff. Okay. 
can't see anything. What do you mean you can't see anything? I have no scenery. That's interesting. Have you done a debug scenery refresh? Oh, I've done that repeatedly. Alright, I'll try to figure it out, kids. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to restart now, so. Lucky, lucky, don't be lucky, lucky. Right, I'm airborne ish. Right, right, but no mind. Come away from the city, under the heading, and under parting suddenly. There we go. South of Manchester Barton, heading for uh, Shawbury. Strawberry. Strawberry. That's it. But I'm just in a pure milk whites. No, I have no scenery. I have no idea what's going on. Oh shit! He did get a scenery on, yeah. Right, put uh, the nose I, over. I have it. I just don't. Something happened. Refresh your weather. Sometimes I can do it. I tried all that. Right, so uh, put the nose over, getting up to 104 knots again. Did you go. the uh, restart back here as well? So exit the application and come back in again. Sort it. Yeah. I no, I'm concentrating, trying to. I'm just. I'm flying by following Stuart. I can't see nothing. I don't. Not nothing. Have you refreshed the well? Yeah, I've done all that <laughs> multiple times. Hey, Buddha, did you do the deep bargain then the reload scene? <laughs> I wish we were helpful <laughs> friends. You know when people have friends and they like help each other. You guys are fucking laughing at me. Don't do any of that shit. You're laughing at me. Try standing on one leg, put your finger in your nose, and spin around three times. I tried that. Thank God you said no. Then refresh the weather. I already did that. <laughs> no, uh, Do you know, you know I have you. heard if sometimes you refresh the weather. Yeah, I shut down buck naked and shut down buck naked and danced na naked around the oak tree, and it didn't help. I I did get aroused. <laughs> so did the neighbor lady. Whoa! Whoopsie. I got a bit of a lag there. Oh shit, oh, yeah, no. Now. If you I'm weather, screwed! Left boot, are you good? Go left a little bit. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, hang on. I, I, gotta, I gotta fix this. This is nuts. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 
I'd like to thank our Twitch viewer for their continued support throughout the evening. I've got one Facebook viewer, I've had the ups and downs, but there's one at the minute again. Ah, so... Ollie didn't he come? No! Uh, didn't he say that he couldn't make it? Can't remember. I don't think so. I'm sure there was something he said he couldn't come for. Welcome to England, Share. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. Right, so we shall be at Shrewsbury and Shrewsbury in uh, 13 minutes. 29 miles to go. The line. Huh? Yeah, strawberry feels good, yes. Exactly. Then we're going to the for show, yeah? Let's see the cattle. We're going to visit Richard, uh, visit Richard Hammond. No, no, it's, it's not. No, it's, it's, it's not actually called strawberry gin. Uh, strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry. We need, we, we need like uh, subtitles on the screen, really. No. <laughs> we've tried that before. No, 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 we don't need that. We know how that went, right, Stuart? Yeah, we've tried that before. Oh, is that what the I like the subtitles. I always watch the YouTube videos with the subtitles. It's funny. <laughs> There, the windy river. Windy river, apparently. We're just going to have a normal switch. Oh, there's a roundabout in the river. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, it's very modern around here. Ooh, you see it. You see it? See it. Oh, we can see it. I know. I got my scenery back. I just that's, uh, that's progress. Oh, Did you yeah. um, you refresh your weather? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just did one leg and we think it's not. I'm going to go around, don't get that way. Yeah. 
that you guys want to be burned to the ground a hundred years ago, or a couple of hundred years ago. Yeah. And? And you didn't! Not for the one I'm trying. It's probably you could you did. Did uh, the Scots ever actually went down uh, this far? They never did, right? No, they were down this far. Oh, Carlisle was a little bit, wasn't it? Yeah, it took Carlisle a few times. There was no way down here to get their kilts mended so they couldn't. The kilt was actually in use in those days. They're not! No, they won't. Braveheart is completely wrong. Well, I've never seen it, so I wouldn't know. They haven't even discovered Australia then, have they? That's funny to true. <laughs> oh, the orthos just got, got a lot better. Or is that just mine? No, the ones that Ollie did are very low res, so if you've got them, you know, not much at all. The FD UK one would look bad. I keep meaning to do a video on how to gather them as you fly, I just haven't got time. Yeah. Well, I've been busy. Well, uh, having silly meat to decide if the storm's actually a storm and then what to do about the storm after it's finished. It is a storm. And I've got another bloody meeting at 9am tomorrow morning, which I'm looking forward to on a Sunday. Too many meetings just get the fuck on with the work. That's what it is, that's the problem. People are getting on the work. That, the, the problem is for me, as someone with a small organisation of 60 people, that I'm not one of the ones that have got all the people underneath them who are still doing the work when all the meetings are going on. I just have to do the meetings and do the work. Stop the means, they never help. Mm. I know, but they need them to justify their large wages while people are actually doing the work. Yeah, brother. We're in the middle of a crisis, what should we do? I know, we'll have a meeting to discuss the crisis. I went through it and I, I got, um, I put a thing up on our, on our organisation thing earlier. In the past week, regarding the storm, we had had no less than 178 um, individual documents sent out detailing how they were going to deal with things and uh, I think it worked out about 17 hours worth of meetings where actually nothing had been decided. But you know, people need to justify their wages, don't they? Complete waste. Second, we starve. Well, it was pointed out that everybody at the senior uh, level the other day had actually received an MBE or other kind of honours. So they just sit there until they get their honours and then they get bumped up to the next level and wait for the next honour. So. Up your ship. Yeah, it's whatever they want. It's we all want their MBE and then they're happy and then they want even more. What was a solar farm down there we just got on? Mario's asking how's your knee? I am more mobile than I was a few days ago. And there he goes again. What? So I've really went as well and now Ooh, they're back in the middle I, of the I hit Mars. Ah, oh, well done, Voodoo. I don't have pause, I'm just flying. Yeah, no, you went flying back behind me, so I hit pause, so you catch back up. Oh. 
Oh, there he is again. Okay. How did Margaret get on with her wallpapering the other day? She was stripping wallpaper. Well, actually, wallpapering. Did it go well? I think to what you. It was on, she says, because it was on for 25 years, it went, all, it went well. You know, the job you won't get me in here. I imagine he won't be allowed, Nick. He'll just chair us down, a strip off, and then get angry and wander off. Well, probably go to Archie, but then. There's our next waypoint. I see it's all redded out on the map. There's no overflow. Oh, uh, yeah, shrubbery. Shrubbery. It's the home of helicopter training. Shrubbery. Shrubbery. Got shrubbery. Shrubbery fields forever. Me. Me. Aki Britannia. When we get the one port, when we get the one, the one port five eventually done, uh, we'll have to do a flight night shrubbery with the 145 as the Junos and Jupiter's with the 135s as well. Well, I watched them on flight radar and they just seem to fly around in circles. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what you do with a helicopter first. This looks like an old uh, field we're just flying over here. Who's inside me? Oh, <laughs> finally! <laughs> you. You gonna buy me dinner, Voodoo? Or? <laughs> You're gonna get indigestion. <laughs> well, I suppose if we do a flight from Shrewsbury, we can do sure, yeah, we can do any of the any of the helicopters like a defence helicopter flying school liveries. So that would be the the 145, the 135, the 412 and uh, the scroll. The 412 they only have in somewhere, isn't it? They're used in Cyprus, but they, they did have them at the Defence Centre of the Cover Fine School for a while. Uh, they used to use them for the, the rescue training, SAR training. Which, of course, is now done by the, uh, the 145, the 142 training. Right, Gaid? As all rock mates. I'm just enjoying the uh, the terrain. As there is some, finally. <laughs> Yay. Well, now we're in England. <laughs> England show. Okay, we're uh, close to the northern English county of Scotlandshire last week. Um, what do you call that? There's a waypoint in front of us now. Yeah, oh, yeah. in front. Yeah, field is in front of us. Right. After this one, we are heading for Hertfordshire. Hertford. Uh, what? A little bit of the Shire. Hertford. Hertfordshire. It's where the SES lives. Hereford. Or Richard Hammond, whichever you want to choose. Yeah. So this is uh, flight school UK. Uh -huh. This is where the flight training is based up between this and all the F Valley Bay. Uh huh. And Odium if you got a Chinook. Odium, yeah, as well. Yeah. Well, that, that's uh, that's an active uh, squadron. This is the training squadron. Be 
beep, 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 beep. Yeah, Ultimaka. <laughs> For the next few points, there's a slight left turn. So, what that away? I'm pointing again. Good. Must be good. I see the point. From all the way over there. Yep, all the way over here. Hello, Geed. Hello. Right, next waypoint is 41 uh, nautical miles. Estimated 20 minutes. Right, guys over there. How are we doing Facebook viewers, Stuart? We have two at the moment. Two! Two. What's the next waypoint we're going to? Hereford, sir. Hereford. Ah. And there he goes again. There Hello. he goes again. What's this up front here? Yeah. 12 o'clock. Oh, we've got a quarry here, haven't we? Yeah, what there's a like quarry of some sort. No. A big power plant to the left. 11 o'clock somewhere. I see it, see the smoke. So, Gee, this is Shrewsbury. Not to be confused with Shrewsbury. Oh, this is Shrubbery. <laughs> Shrew not, sh not Shrubbery. <laughs> what? what is it? Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. You know, like a shrew, the small bird. Oh, Burry. Okay. Burry. Shoes. Berry. Shoes. Burry. Shoes. Berry. Shoes. Like shoes. I, I thought shrews. Berry. Shrews. Like a mushroom. Yeah, you're getting yeah. it. You're getting it. Shrew. Shrew. What's more, most shrew. But what? Well, That's it. What does it mean? I mean, what is it? It's a name. It doesn't mean anything. Well, probably dead a few thousand years ago, wouldn't it? Well, maybe. But if it's a name, I can't name it fuckery, and it doesn't mean anything, is it? <laughs> Don't call it fuckery. Bury, bury in uh, English is like Berg in German. Ah, oh, see? Right. Yeah. Shrewsbury, Schraubenburg. Yeah, I don't know. Screw. <laughs> Screws Perry. Screws Perry. Screws Perry. Screws Perry. Are we uh, are we veering off to the right of our intended flight plan here, flight there? Well, we're what we were slightly tracking to the left. I'm correcting to the right now. There we go. On course. Stuart, uh, did you ever um, use any of my uh, my shit exchanges? I'll fucking kill you. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Sounded like it was going to be a, a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Say again, kid. 
<laughs> those changes that I did, like those uh, changes on the model, uh, was it on the F4 or some sort, like levers? It was, yes. it was levers and shit. Uh, did yes. you use any of that, I mean? Yes. Ah, okay. I have done and I have now passed it to Alex for the next bit. Ah, okay. To me? Yeah, you. Damn it. Oh, I've got a big lag. Oh! Ah. Oh, I'm ah. back. Ah. It was flash. Ah. It was his ah. It was his ah. 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 I'm following Ozzy. Ozzy in the, with the white and red one? I'm red. Ozzy, uh, right. you're in charge. Oh no, right? Stuart's way behind. I'm just oh, straight ahead. No, no. That's always. I'm gonna have to claim a bit, so I'm just gonna start claiming a little bit for a bit. No pressure, Ozzy, we're following you. Uh, Stuart, we've got this little no hillock ahead. Go. Are, we, are we going to the left or the right of the hillock? Well, get I over here! I'm gonna claim a bit. Did not listen. Yes, but that, that doesn't answer my question, does it? <laughs> we're going over it. We're going to go right. We're going over it, Ozzy. Do you understand that? Very much. Ozzy's going left. Yes. Slightly. Yes, over 150. You go flat. Yes, that's what the red warning lines for on the on the speedometer flash. And Nice little firing position here for a helicopter. Right, I've leveled off again. Bad. I'm not seeing I you. I don't know. That's something. Stuart just levels off at whatever his autopilot feels like. Yeah, that. over there. Oh, over there, go oh, on. Right there, right there. You see my point? Yeah, yeah. I'm pointing this way. So oh, made your point, I think yeah. I think Stuart's slightly off to our right. Okay. We're not going to Hereford anymore. We changed the plan. He's way. No, well, I'm going to Hereford. I don't know where the hell you lot are going. You know, way off to my left. Way, way, way off to my left. They were following Ozzy. You left us behind, alone you, in the dark. You told yeah, us to yeah. go over the hill. Ozzy, come oh. on, turn right. Turn right, come on. That's right. right. I turn right. Yeah, Come on, 35 degrees, way. 40 degrees, something like that. Guess if we follow that little river there, uh, we will uh, get back to the group. Ah, uh, oh, I see Stuart, yep. I see dead people. What, mine? You just see yourself. I don't cast a reflection. <laughs> Thank God. The count. No, it's not pronounced oh, like that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh? It, it's spelt a bit like count, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. That wasn't got, bad, he's... Ozzy. That wasn't bad. We're back. You back? Yep. Yep, you're back. Yeah, he's a phone, man. Well done. I oh, know, like, 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 like. Oh, go stop that! I was looking behind me. You lot. <laughs> oh, Alex. Yes. You drop a bandit like hell. Yeah, it did it. Just went a bit weird. Then. Not also you're alone again. <laughs> oh, but my my. Don't do that, we fun. Be. No! Oh, oh, right. bye no, bye no, 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 
And I know it's a trick for all of you, but I do it gladly. But she says it's painful to listen to it. Margaret would not say something that mean. She did. I can get over here to the microphone no. and she'll tell him. No, then it's I'm not very upset. as long as it's real or reality, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is. I shan't treat you with my singing anymore then. Oh, damn shame. Next. I liked it. Thank you, Verda. I shall continue then. No! <laughs> Curse you, Voodoo. Curse you, Voodoo. One. Ah. Two. Ah. Ah. You guys probably don't have Sesame Street over there, do you? Not to the same extent. The count. The count. We got him. I am. He, he, his name is Graf Tsai. Back up from last day, yes. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this light, plus me, that's eight. Yeah, we're not doing bad. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Always oh, uh, back together. I'm really impressed with Sunny for. Taking a gazelle and sticking with it, mate. Well done, Sunny. Mwah. Someday you'll learn the benefits of cross training. <laughs> cross training. Don't know if you're allowed to call it that anymore. Not, not that kind of cross training, no. Ah, right. Sorry, I'll put my dress away. What's that town underneath? Whoa, of Ludlow. That is like, town it's like of Ludlow. Ludlow. Because it was well represented in uh, OSM. Somehow. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, you know, it's it's mainly farming communities down here from sort of the, the next few fifty hundred miles, and uh, they they actually use OSM quite a lot to plot. It's, it's a useful tool in a, a lot of things, so it doesn't surprise me. Six and a half minutes, sixteen miles. It's a nice little geometry, uh, geometry. <laughs> Geology over there on the right side. Well, to the right of us is pretty much Wales, to the left of us is England. Yeah, so do you like the stuff on the left gate or? I like the stuff on the left side. I like the stuff on the right side. Oh, fuck off over there then, if you want to be in Wales. <laughs> got a friend in Wales. He's, uh, he's working for the bah. BBC. He's building uh, the. Uh, what, what, what are they called? Like, uh, off the dock, the, those, the tools that he actually uses. His. What is it? Like, electric pens or whatever? What are they called? Doctor Who. What? Sonic screwdriver. Sonic screwdriver. screwdriver. There you go. <laughs> He's building one. For the show and for you to buy and blah blah blah. Huh. Oh. He lives in Wales. Now, Stuart, what's this town that's coming up ahead? I'm going to... What? Leo Monster. <laughs> Leo Monster. Yeah, go on then. You and your names. Isn't it Leminster? Leo Monster. Oh, there's a castle on the left side. 
I pronounced it lemon straw, I might be wrong. It's a lemon straw. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's the same as it is like with, uh, what is it like, Wooster? Wooster? Wooster, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Never, Worcester. never really. Never understood that, actually. You mean Worcester? Perfect. Well, I don't, I, it took me ages to get Vista. Well, let's how is it, how is it written? Uh, Vista is B I C E. I S T E R. Someone. It, it's spelt Vicester. Ay ay ay. I'm often uh, wondering. There's what? toaster, isn't there? Which is spelt T O W C E S T E R. Yeah, that's the next. Right? Tow Towchester. Which is <laughs> toaster. Yeah, next. Oh my door. goodness. That's a horrible place to get stuck in after an event. Uh, there's one near me which kept coming up this week, which is um, it's pronounced Bosom, but it's pronounced it's spelled Bosham for some reason. The one that gets me down here is the one that's called Braintree. I wonder how the hell it ever got his name. Yeah, it was a bit of a messy story, but car accident. All oh, right. For real? No. No. <laughs> no, I, I just make shit up. <laughs> don't, don't believe anything you hear on flag here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> it's like Stuart was sound, shouting Trossocks at me last week. I'm not baiting. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've had uh, Kaylee shouting trossocks at me this week as a result of that. How can you tell when you've encountered a level-headed flight gear you care? Go on. It's got shit running out of both ears. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just heard that. I read it on a wall someplace. I don't know that it's true. Was it a jet? It's a ladies' toilet. <laughs> it's all the same, mate. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Oh, well, I'll go with that thing. You got Hereford up here ahead. Yep. Go to the next waypoint. Interesting area in the region. The hills. Yeah, right. Or alive! <laughs> it's the same thing I was just gonna say. Oh, uh, don't. It's scared off the extra With the sound of, of music. La la la. Just imagine you running towards me in a field, buddy. Ha ha ha! Arms wide open. Well, obviously. Love is in the air. Everywhere I look. Mario wants to know if you're pissed. No. Who, oh, me? No, Alex. Oh, I keep forgetting. No, sadly not. You need something different there. Indeed it does, yes. Waypoint ahead, Hereford, Hereford barracks. Home of uh, the ATS. Very well represented in flight gear, actually. It is, actually, yeah. Home of what? The ACS. Search and rescue? What is it? What is it? Yes, yes, special air service. Yeah. Who deals wins? It's a very special air service. Okay. 
Next waypoint, slightly to the left. I can't believe you've never heard of the SAS. Oh, you you've upset already? him now. Yeah, left turn. Left turn. How can you, you know? They operate in secrecy. That's very true. I can tell you all about it, but then we'd have to kill you. Exactly. How are we doing on our uh, overall time flight, Lena? Stand by. Well, it is uh, currently over. My past ten, so let me have a work. Let me do some maths. Math is hard. Help him. We might need additional fingers and toes. <laughs> I was going to say, math is hard. <laughs> I got a calculator on my desktop. The calculator. Is that something that removes hemorrhoids? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You might try to do that. It might even work. Ah, just pop him like a man. Uh, if we do the whole thing, and there's no mishaps at this speed, 100, about 40 minutes. Wow. If you can't do the whole thing, it's okay, don't worry about it. But if you just want me to stop somewhere else before we reach the end, shout because we only have a couple of places we can land. I'm in for the end, boss. Okay. Alex? I got nothing else planned. Good. No, I buy. I'm in to get you. I knew we were going to run long. Leap is generally overrated. I need to get a new flight seat. This one's my arse is getting up. This is actually good terrain for jets as well. Low level. Well, it wouldn't be too bad. Up to about 145 knots, just give a wee bit of time of it. Do you, do you know how many Gazelles took to, pay, to part in this real farewell flight? The last three flying Gazelles took out in the event. There was only three left and they all took part. Less than half of my... Yep. Just a, a, a new follow on Twitch. Thank you, Baseman87. Hello, Twitchy person. It's all about the bass. Man. You singing Megan Trainer there? Do what? Huh? Yeah. Okay. We might need to climb a little bit again, I think. I'm not quite sure. Hello, Baseman87. Thank you for the chat message. 
What did this chat? Tell us all. Hi. Come on, everyone, say hi. Be friendly. Hello. Good talk. That's it. See what a friendly group we are. <laughs> oh, my Stuart bites. Oh, uh, Stuart, stop that. What? Oh, this guy momentarily splatty lag. Anyway, Mr. Baseman, you can ask us any questions you like and we can answer them. We do talk. Well, Mr. We... Baseman, we don't oh, know. Mr. Baseman, we can't this, judge. Is, this is Baseman? I don't know. Or it's well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying you can't judge. This is some nice scenery, isn't it? Um, uh, coming nice. up from Monmouth. Yeah. Yeah. This could be. Uh, oh, really around around Germany, country. actually. Oh, that's ruined it. Barrow. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been if you played your cards right. <laughs> oh man! Didn't oh, try hard man. enough, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Not politically correct. Not politically correct. Next time. <laughs> Next time. You no, know, while we've got a German on, I'm going to ask several Germans to do. Um, oh my. It, 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 uh, <laughs> look. Okay. So the area in which I live, the, the, the south coast, we we have, there's a massive influx every year of, of German students that all come from uh, this, this this same company that organize seemingly summers and weeks and and, and yeah. things like that. Is, is that like a big thing in big Germany? I don't, I don't think we do it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, uh, I didn't know that it was still a thing, but um, yeah, it is. Uh, I've been to pool, for instance, back then. Pool's that was nice. where we were. Yeah, uh, it, it's all uh, uh, Jurgen Matthews is the company, and it's just like everywhere around here. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if it was that company actually, but uh, yeah, yeah, we've been uh, we've been there as well. I don't know. It seems still to be a big thing then. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's my next seven. Nice to see a flight gear stream. Yes, we do this every Saturday. Have done for the past what are we thirteen years now. Goodness knows. Yeah, but that ain't yeah. you. Well, uh, no, not always, not always on Twitch. Not no, always, always on Twitch. Uh, we're on Facebook and YouTube as well, and we do whatever ones we can. Uh, but it, it always goes up on YouTube, at least by a Sunday. And uh, yeah, this flight night every every Saturday night, 8 p.m. UK time, flight gear, and we just do roughly this kind of stuff. You're Swedish. Nice to meet you, baseman. We do fly Sweden as well sometimes. We do. We, well, we go everywhere. We're international. I, I, I can't think of a place we haven't been. I mean, starting to run out of places to take us. <laughs> if only there was a way we could have tracked them and like stuck a pin in a map with every flight night, that'd be fun. Yeah, there'd be no map left if we fill holes. Bristol, just going on ahead. Uh, Bristol. Bristol Channel. Bristol. Oh, there. Is it? Is it the Bristol Channel? Yes, it is. Ooh, there's a cool right. bridge here, man. What a cool bridge. Yep. That's quite the nice to raid. Dog says, you're running late, you owe me a biscuit. Just keep that down your fuel guys, just in case, because we are running along this time. Does it have a yeah. fuel gauge in it somewhere? It has. See the, the three small gauges below your directional compass? Yeah. That one, the center one's the fuel gauge. Oh, I'm on half.
Now the reserve tank's eight gallons. It's only a feet thing, really. It's not this. The main pick, was, uh, was, uh, was already gone. <laughs> and if you pick that, there's not even enough room for your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop threatening my lunch? Well, the idea was to stick it in the, where the luggage is supposed to be. Which was uh, just about big enough for your lunch anyway. As long as it's a squished down sandwich. So, what is the big squigger box on the uh, cod piece area then? What? The cod piece, the big square metal box on the military fit out. Big square box in the, on his horse? Yeah. I don't know, I think. Is that not uh, an IR sensor? Can't remember. Don't know. I don't know either, they never had them in my day. I think it could be I think the it IR. Was. I think it was some sort of an IR sensor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. It, later again. it was a late bit, I remember that much, but I, I, I never really paid much attention to what it was like. I think uh, that was something that was actually uh, popular in the 80s and 90s to be built into actually helicopters, aircraft and tanks as well. And, but they stopped doing that it, because it wasn't like uh, effective at all. By the time you actually uh, had the, uh, the event of being, uh, you know, aimed at or lasered at or whatever, it was already too late. I think it was some sort of a defensive measures. I mean, yeah, the, the world laser sensors created, but they're only like little, not much bigger than a bag packet, really. It's, 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 they're not not laser detector. Yeah. Uh, no. Some sometimes some tells you it's an IR. Like a, like a luggage space, maybe. A luggage box? There we go, that's for the first. That's it. The lunch. And they, they were never there when I was in. Are we getting into Somerset now? Uh, no, wrong side of the country for Somerset. Bristol Shire. And also just further south. Our next uh, yeah. Our next waypoint is just coming up and it's a place called the D E and S Abbey Wood, which is a I think it's a research facility. Or testing the site. Uh-huh. Helicopter so what? So it's inside the city, so I don't, I don't think it was, uh, you know, like that. It had something to do with the helicopter, so it could be, I don't know what it's, I don't really know. Oh. Well, like, defense establishment, somewhere or other. <laughs> we have uh, another we, question in, in Twitch about what aircraft we use the most. We don't have any particular one we use the most, is the answer to that. Uh, we have a very wide selection of aircraft available to us, and we tend to use a lot of them. But tonight, mo idea. tonight mostly gazelles. Yeah. Tonight's, a, tonight's a special night for the gazelle retirement, uh, so that's why it's all gazelles tonight. Right, so ETA 40 seconds. By the way, this airport doesn't exist in real life anymore. Nope, but it's still in flight, yeah. It's still in flight, yeah, but it's a car park now. Solock handles, right? <laughs> right, here it is, the fancy looking buildings up ahead here. This is the this is the waypoint. Oh, the Kraken. Yeah, that thing. That weird looking thing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> There's one there that looks like it. somebody's fell out of an airplane when it's flat. <laughs> it does, oh, it does, yeah. Right, left turn again, we're now heading for Army Headquarters at Andover. Alrighty. Duh! And Stuart's gone again. And oh, wow. he's gone. And Alex as well. Alex is just copying me. Yeah. I just yeah. want to be like you, Stuart. Everybody wants to be like Stuart, but how can you? Look at Burly man, burly man. Genius burly man. <laughs> Margaret is so lucky. Yeah? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, think about it though. He's totally backed up by someone of her caliber, so. Oh, yeah, we know who the brains is. Right, so, on my way to Andover. <laughs> Every time you say that, you, you're gone. I don't know why. I'm only, I've actually I've got a low FPS at the moment, 6 or 7 FPS. So. They're like, whoops! <laughs> well, everyone else is gone. <laughs> Somebody hit, just swapped hit, in front of me. Hit pause, just tap pause, tap, tap P. Tap your PP. Yeah, do a quick P in it. Brings it back. Touch it, touch it. <laughs> I don't want to now. Touch it. Oh, I've got rain. It's raining. I can't oh, no. rain. It's core high pressure. That's raining on me. <laughs> that ain't rain. That's rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was when Goodoo good touched his pee pee. Oh no, oh no, oh! Ah! <laughs> it's the it's same like over here. It's like that helicopter you scroll thing and like... There's the one that wanted to shut, shut out the hatch. Ah uh, yes. Don't pee down right. my back and tell me it's raining. Right, so we have 37 nautical miles to Army Headquarters, which is about 16 minutes. Uh, after that, it's Army Air Corps Middle Wallop, which is, the, which is the home of the Army Air Corps Flight Museum. And then we'll be heading off to Portsmouth to Saffron Airspace for our final destination. And we'll be landing on our green in front of the workshops. And that'll be where the all power down for the final time. What is that town on the right side? It's inside of some sort of a... It's a valley, but it just looks like... That is uh, Bath, the ancient spa town. Spa town, not spa town. That's why it's called Bath. <laughs> it's got a bath in it. Yeah, it's where the, the Romans invented the warm spring bath. Like Baden Baden. Maybe. So good they named it twice. Yeah. <laughs> bot, bot, bot. Oh, there's an airfield up on the top of this hill. Oh, serious. Fabulous. Yeah, oh, the right side is like, what the fuck? That's a grassy trip. Look at the town there. It's you. It's you to think, is it? Yeah, it's definitely very disused. That, that looks like an old World War II design. Are you guys the uh on the on the left side that thing or what? Right below. Yeah, right below. Down. If you got yeah, if you ah, got no, the no, old no, side, should say. No. But there's a there's a modern airfield to the left now, at nine o'clock. On a hill. That town on the right side is man, that's like detailed. I love the color of this stuff. Yeah. It's not always glowing like uh, spring, no. summer, the day like always is Microsoft. Yeah. Yes, Space Man, is it amazing that an open source simulator can be this awesome? Yeah. 
And because we've got awesome people like us using it behind it. Yeah, it is really about us, isn't it? Yeah, it's all about us. Well, duh. After seeing so much brown and blue and all that stuff, you know, it's kind of nice to see the green. <laughs> it's the same green. It's green and pleasant land. Yep, yep. It's raining on me again. Who's pissing out the door? Come on, one of them. Who's doing stop it? animation of my Gazelle has broke. Probably due to the low frame rate I've got. Yeah, mine seems alright. Oh, mine's both small all over the place. Ah, uh, have you got the autopilot on though? I have, but it wasn't doing that earlier. Yeah, I think the, the autopilot did that for me as well. I think it's the way it adjusts it. second viewer on Facebook. Have a nice night. Give us a thumbs up, like, share, all that stuff. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and let's go on a few times. Splitting up. You're a bit off the roof, I guess. Walty. Heading back. I'm sorry if anyone is doing this with headphones on the night. What do you do? Yeah, I am. It's quite loud. Yep. Oh, it's good. What? That was Come quite on. a drastic descent. I didn't descend. Oh, who did? See you in, see you in Wallop. <laughs> did you crash? Yeah, it doesn't turn at this speed, does it? Not, not this model, anyway. Oh, look at this fireball in there. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It does some, but not if you do the really show up. Yeah. It'll die, but it'll do it. It does say that in the handbook, actually. Yeah, I'm used to fly my own bird that doesn't do this. I've never, never done such a long flight with a gazelle, I like it. It's good for cruising. Grows on you, doesn't it?
Now we should do some more single make nights. They're much easier to do. Much easier to manage. They are. People... Uh, a lot more stress-free, generally, for the people. Like Kree Kree or Auto Cairo. Yeah, Kree Kree, yeah. Ah! I lagged out again. Here we go, I'm back. But the dreadful for anybody like me who struggles with FPS because I can't blank them out. I, ah. I have all the models. Normally I, I blank everybody else out with an AI version, but with a single model thing, it can't be done. Right. But the FPS just dies. I have to admit, my FPS tonight is a bit lower than it has been in the past few weeks. I'm running 25. I'm back up to 13 now, so it's, it's, like, it's even out again. I'm only getting about 10 to 15. That's fine. Looks good. It's flyable. 15 to be strange, that it's so slow. Your machines. 58? What? 58? Yeah. He's not got orthos though. I mean, mine is just, uh, it is uh, like one of those Republic of Gamers laptops, you know, with a 30, 60 mobile adapter in it. But that's it. That is, uh, it's an uh, Intel i5 processor. It's not really that much. This is a 3070. Okay, why the hell is it so slow then? Oh, yeah, I got a 38 Di in this. <laughs> okay, see, what the hell? Are you sporting some some other graphics model in there? Or is, is there something new um, I missed? I don't think so. I don't know. I I have got everything turned up quite high, but I thought I had it tuned to a point. It's been running at about sort of. 40, 50 FPS pretty solidly everywhere the past few weeks. Tonight it's decided not to. Because it's a multiplayer and because you need it. Yeah. Have we got the OSM buildings on, Geed? Uh, I do. Uh, I do. I don't know, The uh, I think the uh, vegetation is on, uh, what is it, like one after medium. Yeah, it makes like a big one, difference. One, one. Drop it to medium. Yeah. Yeah. Six minutes at Army HQ. Turn off that overlay crap too, that's useless. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Each frame rate's like a mofo, bro. I can I, go all up, on. You, get, you get the rotor wash and the grass effects of that. It's good. It's got a lot of similar to Which is nice, but I mean, you only get it like uh, really as soon as you're actually down on the ground, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's not really worth the hit for the other 99% of the flight, is it? No. Airfield off to the left. You got up of an airfield. It was one of the original D-Day airfields, I think that was. Ooh, nice. The Army HQ and Middle Wallop are really quite close together. There's two big airfields on the right. Or is that one? I was looking around about my team pictures.
no clues there that there's a train in here, is there? No, none. Right. That seems One to minute, be... That's a bit of uh, buildings there. Yeah, I'm not sure which one that is. That's actually middle wall up off to our uh, right, I'm sure. Uh, no, we got Thruxton just to our right. Is it Thruxton? Yeah, what? which was, what? sounds a little bit like a lady disease. Yeah, Walt's running here somewhere as well. Yeah, those are your BSC Wallop from where you are. It's hard enough to spot when you're overhead. Yeah, it's, it's only four miles, four miles from HQ, so... Yeah, I think I can just see you about two o'clock. Army HQ in front of us, huh? Yeah, there's that. Yeah, there's the Army HQ in front of us, huh? Yeah, there's that. Not sure why that was on the route either. It's more of a retirement home. <laughs> oh, so is it those uh, big buildings, huh? Yeah, that's the one. Square just at the green there as you get it up. Running right. Heading for middle wallop. Alright, is that the one in front of us there? That yeah, should be. And it's got the Army Aviation Museum in it. Uh -huh. Which is open to the public. Nice. It used to be the headquarters for the Army Air Corps. Yeah. All the training was done there for pilots, for uh, mechanics, ground crew, everything. Oh yeah, it has a small uh, helicopter runway there, huh? And it has. Nice.
there was a heavy pods there as well. Yeah. Okay, so head for the next waypoint. I can see my old house from here. <laughs> right, thank no you, Flash. Flash Have a good one, Flash. No Flash. Flash! I'm his father, can I help? User disconnected from the no, channel. No, you can't. Right, so, on my way to the final destination. Like, right. I, I, I just like out as soon as Tiger talks there. Right, so we're looking at... Uh, uh, hang on. Eight minutes. And that puts it bang on the 40 minutes. We're not seeing it that good, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad, Stuart. You're alright. <laughs> not bad at this. Uh, opening to the sea over there already, yeah. We call them rivers in the room. <laughs> no, no, opening to the sea is what it is. <laughs> Scenery, nice aircraft. Like that was good one. Uh, nice, uh, nice rates on that. Yeah. All hound dog gazelle skills. Gazelle's a nice helicopter fly, I always say. You just have to be really careful when you're really at the upper end of its performance levels. You know, just in case. When it's at its maximum, it's easy to break. Oh, that was a short map there. Yeah? I'm going back now, lagging like that! That one right through me. Like a milkshake. Yeah, no, you will. Yeah, well. It's a long flight, I know. But we did it. We did it. Yeah, we're still doing it. That's okay. Yeah, we're still doing it. We're going to finish it and we're going to be proud. It's over there. Right there. I can see it from here. It's over there. That building over there. I see it. Actually, quite nice with all, with all the buildings and, and, and stuff like. And the river. The opening to the sea. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Does it open to the sea or is it where the sea closes? Could be oh. open and closed. Okay, Baseman 87's off to get some uh, sleep. Thank you for joining us, Baseman 87. Thank you for watching. Yeah, was patient. He was with us all the time. Well, we're very entertaining, Ozzy, don't you think? <laughs> Some of us are. Of course. 
<laughs> Some of us are. See you later. Uh, we have uh, Portsmouth, well, Southampton off to our right, and Portsmouth to the left, forwardish. Airfield in front of us, there, Stuart. Down there. There is no airfield over London. Then. Ah, right. No, that's uh, that's Southampton East League. You'll be okay. able to see, I think. It's actually we're landing at the. the By the, basement. Yeah, the repair facility basement. Ah. We've got a, a large grass area for the helicopters in front of the building. We should be fine. I think it's the engine maintenance facility, sorry, that's what it was. I think nowadays it's more of a chop shop. Well, yeah, right. And the old engines are worth about a million quid. The what? The Astazoos, the engines on them. Oh, right, right. That's about a million quid. Worth buying one just for the engine. Well, yeah, and if you buy one for... 300 grand, you get a crate with two zero timed engines in it. If you look for the ones for sale, I'm trying to shift stock. big road you see here, the, the unit's right next to the road, um, not quite here, but further on. Yeah? Big road is the M27. Why goes without saying here? The pride of the south coast. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And you let us know Uh, not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there will be one soon. Apparently, he, he can't get a ferry to Isle of Wight now with the internal you let on. To get to the ferry. Oh, do you know what? You, no, you're right. There is a... Um, yeah, at the moment, it only counts for commercial vehicles, not private ones. But yeah, if you've got a van or anything that counts as commercial, uh, you can't go into like that area of Portsmouth anymore. What, is it like climate uh, thing or what? Yeah, it's a money car. Yeah. yeah, it's a money. It's like driving coming into London. It's like, you know, the, the, the low emission thing. they got it in lots of European cities these days. Yeah. Apparently the emissions levels have risen since they've done it. So, yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah, it's like the, the one you have to pay if you plan on going anywhere near Paris. Even if you're not going within the zone, you still have to buy the thing if you're going into France. Because you, you might have to dip into Paris if there's a diversion. So you have to have the sticker on your windscreen saying that you've declared that your vehicle is a dirty yeah. environment killer. Not that I would want to go into Paris, I can get a car. Oh, no, thank you. I wouldn't want to go to Paris, full stop. So! Oh, so, one here there. Oh, no. your channel, time down. oh, we lost somebody. Oh, oh, oh we've lost Porky. Oh, oh Porky oh. was still there. My right, facility is just up ahead here. Seven of us left. I'm right above it. What is it? See the big triangular garden, big triangular grass area next, and the L-shaped building. Are we not going to Fleetlands? No. No, we're going to stop down here. Okay. Right, going to orbit a few times and kill off some altitude. Oh, 
you're the only one that knows where we're landing, so. Yeah, follow me. Use the orbit and the kill off height. I haven't landed at it when I was testing it, we will all fit. As long as we're sensible, I'm quite probably. Uh -huh. <laughs> White building, and there's a there's a post. An L-shaped building with a big triangular grass garden out in front of it. L-shaped building. Oh, it's more of a good. quarter of a circle. Yeah, more of a quarter of a circle. Uh huh. That's probably you guys got that. Uh, I don't know. I don't have it. Oh, you want you to have OSM? You want you want to have the portals? You want to see it? OSM, OSM, fuck that. Yeah. There is a you know there's a brown building in front of me. Well, I I am in the garden right now. Okay. God. Uh, there's a brown building actually. It's it's kind of L shaped. Yeah, kind of L shaped. Yeah. Okay, I am touching down. Yeah. Putting her down. On the ground. Powering down. Ah, it's like a bee through the building. Don't hit the buildings and don't hit the power lines on the far side of the buildings. Alright, I'm down. I'm down. Well done. When you're on the grounds, guys. That is really close to the building. That's a, that's a run. Is it? I got voodoo. There's still somebody landing behind us. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, voodoo. The man's got style, look. He's here! Don't crash into him! No! Oh. Ah, well, okay. Big spooch! So there we are! Ah, oh, look at him kissing! Mwah! We have done it! We have done it! Yeah! 
Thanks for not stealing for that one. That was a good one. Good, good flight. Good flight. Good very good. Very good. C plus. C plus. I'm going to end the Twitch stream after 2 hours, 56 minutes and 55 seconds. I'm going to end the flight, uh, the Facebook one. So good night, viewers. Thank you for watching. Have you watched the talk? Good night, everyone.